Right, back again now. You can see I've cut the rest of those threads that we're doing just now. And you can see how it comes out with a bit of cardboard. And that's what's left of the interior lining, which is not a lot. And this is the base strengthening, which was not a lot. And you can see evidence in here. This is this is the end panel lining, the strengtheners that go on the end panels. And this one here. That you can see, I'll try and show you. Let me show you. If you look down close in there, you can see evidence of two different types of lining. One was a blue and white stripe, and one was a check. So it uh, seems to have been around a bit in its, in its lifetime. Now we've got some things to do to it before I can go ahead <coughs> and put <coughs> the strengthening panels in the sides and the end panels, because it will lift it right the way up here when it's done, so it's stand up proud again. But we've got to uh, re-stitch this back on obviously before any more lining goes in or any strengtheners go in so that will be stitched back on and also make a new strap for this side um, and what I'll do is I'll do two I'll do uh, so that they're going to match and I'll age them to suit um, I think you've seen that before on one of the other videos I did when we put these straps in it's quite a favourite of them going so uh, everything else seems to be in pretty reasonable nick and you try and leave as much as the original as possible all this will come up with feeding um, I think we're uh, on a winner. I might have to take the lock out because the key is missing. I can take the lock out from in there and I'm manufacturing new key for it. So that'll be the next step. We'll get these sorted out.